Welcome back to DT Daily. I'm Janelle Padilla. Coming up today, the FCC plans to bring net neutrality back from the dead. A supersonic private jet replaces windows with video walls, and this motion capture suit turns your whole body into a gaming controller. Netflix is having a pretty good week. Millions spent this past weekend binge watching House of Cards. Netflix stock is at an all time high, and the Federal Communications Commission is attempting to revive net neutrality. Last month, the open internet took a huge hit when a federal appeals court struck down the rules preventing internet service providers from favoring certain types of traffic. But Wednesday, the FCC said it plans to create a new set of rules designed to comply with the court's ruling and preserve an open internet. Unfortunately, the process of writing the rules will take a year or longer, and once implemented, expect to see the same illegal challenges that killed the last set of rules. So it's good news for content providers, for now at least. Being able to see the outside world while cruising at 37,000 feet is something we take for granted. So imagine a passenger jet without windows. It would be a flying claustrophobia machine. That's exactly what Spike Aerospace is designing with its S512. It will be the world's first supersonic private jet when it takes flight in 2018. And to maintain a strong fuselage while flying at Mach 1.8, it will be windowless. To keep passengers inside the $80 million jet relaxed, engineers are lining the walls with curved video screens that will display a real-time image from outside the plane. And being a video wall, passengers could presumably watch movies on it too. While the cabin of the jet looks stunning and totally worth 80 million bucks, it still remains to be seen if passengers will accept the virtual view. Kickstarter's been kind recently to virtual reality and motion capture devices for gaming. The newest offering is this, the Prio VR. It's a full body game controller that uses inertial sensors placed around the body to track a player's motion. The on-screen character can perform actions like crouching, leaning around corners, or aiming a firearm. And dual hand controllers with joysticks allow for navigating through large worlds. The suit comes in three models, including an upper body only version designed for gamers who prefer to stay planted on the couch. It's also compatible with the Oculus Rift. With more than a month left on Kickstarter, the Prio VR has more than doubled its funding goal. A pledge of 280 bucks will get you the basic version and some accompanying swag. And that's DT Daily for today. We'll see you tomorrow.